you are so phenomenal in Chloe that I honestly, I could not take my eyes off you in this film. What was it when you read that script? And I mean, were you scared out of your pets? I mean, here's the thing. It was, I was thrown in, in a ridiculous opportunity to work with Adam McGoy and, and, and play Chloe in, in a really well-written script. And, um, yeah, it, like, I, I, at first, I, you know, we had trouble figuring out when this movie was going to get made, so I was kind of relieved when I found out we might not make it for a while because I didn't know if I was able to handle this type of role. I mean, it's like there's... There's so much going on that even I still don't understand. Yeah. I mean, I do for the most part because Adam is, is so so elaborate and so specific in every single moment that, of course, I wouldn't have been able to play Chloe without his direction, but it was just, it, it almost seemed like too much. Where did you go? To, to you got This is a troubled girl. Let's just put that on the table. Yeah. Where do you go inside your head to play someone? Like you come off a film like Mamma Mia where you're singing and dancing and having real, there's no, you know, and then this. Wow. Well, for for the most part, and I mean, for for you know, since I began my career, I've I've always been the type of actor to just jump in and out quickly because I, in order, staying in that kind of headspace can be can be really exhausting and kind of damaging, for you know, temporarily I think for me. So I've learned early on that it's 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 really healthy to be able to jump in and out. Of course, you need to prepare for certain things, certain emotions. You know, when you're portraying something very dark. But I uh, I don't even know where I was at in these in these moments. I mean, I think I think it also had to do with uh, it was much easier because I was working with Julian. Yes. And um, she's uh, she's you know as good as it gets, and um, it's really helpful for someone like me who's who's in the beginning of their career and also trying to trying to give her what she deserves because she's she's playing a, a character that's that's just as ex, you know yeah. more experienced in life but just as troubled at this point in in her life. Yeah, I'm wondering when you have um, actors like you know Liam Neeson, Julianne Moore, Meryl Streep, you know the list goes on. Even for Big Love, like you're working with such great people too. Yeah. You must be sponging off these actors going like. Is this real? Like, is this happening to me? It's it's kind of I've learned that it's the key for for the, the types of jobs that I want, the types of films and projects that I want to do uh, um, from today on. It's it has everything to do with who I'm working with, director and actor wise. It's it's um it changes everything. It really, you can. It, it's I mean yeah, taking out Vanessa Redgrave I worked with all summer yeah. and um. She is m magical. I know that sounds really lame, but uh, she really is. I don't know what happens to me when I'm in a scene with her, but it goes someplace that I, I never, I don't expect. And it's, it's just what a good actress, a good actor, can do for the, for their, their co-stars. It's, um, I want to be that for somebody one day, and hopefully, and I'm getting the best type of education I can possibly get. Did you and Julianne have a lot of pre-discussion or, you know, <laughs> hey, yeah. we're gonna, you know, like, it's some intense stuff. And yes, you're right, she's such a fantastic actress. I mean, she's been doing it for, you know, a long, long time. But how did the two of you bond, communicate, get it all together to make it work so well? We giggled a lot uh, <laughs> during during the, um, the filming process. But be beforehand, Adam took us in a room and discussed it pretty... Uh, pretty um specifically what what his idea was and then a couple days before filming we we actually went into a room with a bed and he kind of showed us with uh, the stand-ins what he was really going for and he he uh, talked to see the actual shot it was going to be one camera and one take and uh, in certain situations I mean in a very specific situation I'm thinking about right now but yeah. it it's it was very it was it was um very detailed and uh and when you have a director that, that has it all set up in his mind before he even starts filming a movie, it's, you, you trust him and um, you want to do exactly what, what he needs. And it was very technical. Yeah. Was this one, um, after you finished shooting, you were kind of glad to kind of get rid of her, the character? Yeah. I mean, it was a relief that I was, at, that, that I, yeah, I could shed all, all of that energy because as much as I, I wanted to jump in and out and have it be very casual, um, it still affects you. It's hard it's hard not to have that kind of absorb into you into your bloodstream a little bit. But um, I was relieved. I was also um, I was also a bit devastated 
you know, because sure. when every movie end, it ends, it's it's um it's hard, but this one especially. And you got to work here. I mean, greatest city in the world. Also, it was, it, I mean, springtime was was on its way, and uh, I I do I've, I've worked here twice now, and I'm I really am kind of crazy about Toronto. So I think we need to get you an apartment here. What do you think? It's not something I haven't thought about. <laughs> However, my first apartment will be in Manhattan. All right, that's I hate good. to say it, but my family's close by, yeah. so it's it's kind of necessary. That's a good choice, no problem. Yeah. I moved to New York if I could too. Um, Jennifer's body, I got to see that as well. So yeah. much fun, campy eighties. Yeah, just a lot totally. Of fun, yeah. You know? um, that set must have just been a scream, you know. <laughs> it was just um, t- technically is difficult, uh, more difficult than in any movie because of all the stunt work and all the the. Um, the props and everything that was going on, because it was, you know, a horror movie. Yeah. It was, it's not really a horror movie, but um, you know, and yeah. it's a, that's the type of genre. It's it's got a lot of that gory stuff, but um, it was a lot of fun because of the producers and the director and the writer all c- combined make a great energy and. Yeah. And we all really got along. I, you know, Meg and, and I got along. And you're speaking Diablo Cody's words. Come on. Listen, it's 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 difficult in a way that it makes you makes you want to pee a little bit every time you say it. But <laughs> thing is, we got through it, and we made it sound realistic. And that was really, that's sometimes hard when you're when you have like tongue twisters. But yeah, of course it was fun. <laughs> it was just exhausting at times. Yeah. I love her name, Needy. Needy. Just says it all, I mean, huh? who who writes like that? It's, it's she's very Diablo is is very specific. Yeah. She's one of a kind, and it's um it was an, an awesome opportunity to actually get to play a character in her world. It, it, it's I have two of the great experiences coming together at this film festival, and it's, um yeah. it's nice to see everybody because you do also become a family. It's, Oh, I, I couldn't. I couldn't really be having a better time. Okay, another family. Big love. That's starting up again soon. Hey, I'm doing it again. I love that show so much. You know, it took me a while to get into that show. It was a bit slow. Yeah, but it's so great. Great cast. I mean, you know, you must be, like I say, you know, you're just your career is so awesome. Your choices are so fantastic. Thanks. Um, you having luck? Fun with that? <laughs> no, it's not luck. It's talent. Well, now it's, it's it. now it's also you know it's also you do it. It's it's tricky to. to choose the right things at the right times and schedule wise you can't always do what you want to do but um, I have gotten to do everything I want to do and and big love coming back coming home to a family that I've been working with for almost six years is pretty special I can't believe it's still going on I mean I can because it's really quality but at the same time it's funny because the young you know the young ones like my my friend Doug who plays Ben and the girl that plays my sister Unfortunately, she's not back this year um, for, for reasons I don't really understand. Um, and all the kids, they're all the same from the year before. And, and we've grown up together. I've seen this kid go from um, 5 to to 10, and it's just unbelievable. Yeah. It's like having your own brother's sister. Great, great show. Quickly, I want to ask you about Dear John because I'm a yeah. huge Nicholas Sparks fan. Okay. And as I was reading that role, I went... I could picture Amanda in this role, and sure enough, I swear I'm not, I'm cool. not like no, it's good. bullshitting you. I, I, I and then I find out that you were cast because I had interviewed Nicholas a, a, a bit back for Nights of Rodan, and he told right. me that you. And I just was like, wow. I mean, how great was that? And Channing Tatum was, was amazing. I mean, it was amazing. Oh. Another amazing experience. Also, Hallstrom, great, great producers around us. Um, Charleston, South Carolina. Yeah. Um, I almost bought a house there. Come on, it's like it's so romantic. It's um, it's a it was a beautiful story, and Channing Tatum is is one of my favorite people, and um, I think we our chemistry was fantastic, and and uh, you know I couldn't have asked for a better situation in that in that way. So, wow, so I'm lucky, yeah. I'm you are. Lucky. Oh, you're talented. You're don't don't Thanks. be so you know uh, really. And very just lastly, we're doing a little piece on environmentally friendly things. And you know what do yeah. you do to stay environmentally friendly? Well, um, I carry my my big love water bottle around with me, so I can just use the the big um jet the you know where you spigot of a, like pure water in my in the refrigerator, and uh, I carpool to work. And if I if I'm not working with certain people that I carpool with. I, because it's really far away, um, I use a eco limo service, so I get in um, a little Toyota hybrid, and I go to work, because um, I get driven sometimes, and it's very far, and uh, I don't know, little things like um, recycling is good, turning off the lights when you leave the house, yeah. another thing, not using a lot of water, stuff like that, uh, turning, I just got, I just recently got an air conditioner, and I felt really bad about it, but it is hot as hell in LA, yeah. And um, I got a t- the smallest one you could get. 
and I put it in my bedroom. You have to stay cool, my dear. You know what? Like, I, I'm so excited. I'm so happy for you. And Thanks.